going on everybody? It's Loader Jumbo here, and it's Wednesday, it's time for another Arms Day video. Now, this one's going to be a little different, well, the only difference I guess would be, I also had a quest to wait for Arms Day for Imprecation, the first curse. So, let's see what we got in store. Night mission, huh? There you are. What took you so long? It's here. The first curse in all its old glory. Listen, Guardian, you... You watch yourself with this, you hear? And here's the first curse, guys. 290 attack. Hits the same as the old imprecation. As the imprecation. However, if you guys notice, it actually has some perks. So, let's take a look. Deadeye. Bonus to range, stability, and movement speed. When aiming down the sights. Okay. We got CQB. We got smooth. And soft. Soft I might actually take. I mean, it's very minimal penalty. Triple tap. Okay, that hasn't changed. Quick draw. Lightweight. Speed reload. Eh. First curse. Precision kills while aiming down sights. Grant increased range and stability until the next... Reload. Hmm. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. All right, and it's, as you see, made by Tex Mechanica. All right. Well, that does it for the Tex Mechanica. Let's accept it. Or acquire it. Order has arrived for the Suros ARI 45 Auto Rifle. Start with rank one. We have. Okay, we have weapon handling scope, weapon handling again, and range. With hammer forged, feather mag, reinforced and lightweight. With outlaw. <clears throat> Looks okay. This one is hit target acquisition. We got handling, handling. Combat range, high caliber rounds and appended, small bore and speed reload, hidden hand. Another with outlaw. We have single point sling, rifled, feather mag, high caliber, handling, target acquisition, and range. Um, I'll be honest, guys, I really don't like either of any of those. So I'll probably, probably, I'll probably just hold on to it till next week. Next up, we have the Hake Gaharis D Hand Cannon. Rank 1. Look, it has enhanced the Relentless Tracker and Feeding Frenzy. See how this thing. Balanced and Dependable True Warrior's Weapon. It has a very nice look. Very nice look. Alright, we have Fast Draw, Steady Hand. Okay. I already mentioned those, so we got Speed Reload, High Caliber, and Small Bore. Interesting. Interesting. Rank 2. We have Final Round. And surrounded. Speeder load, high caliber, reinforced barrel. And they have sure shot. So this could be a, an okay PvP, possibly. This could be a good PvP weapon. The so rank 3 we have reactive reload and triple tap. For the sights, quick draw, steady, triple tap, reactive, speed reload, explosive, small bore. Okay, well, I'll be honest with you guys, it's either rank 2 or 3. I've noticed this one, the third one has better reload. The sure shot though looks nice. Reinforced barrel at the cost. Mm, I don't know, honestly, guys. 
I mean, I don't have to take range straight up. I know that much for sure. I guess it would really come down to a preference. If you guys want my opinion, maybe go with... I mean, it depends on your playstyle, but... Either one of these two, I think, look okay. This one... I get it'll come... These two would make, okay, I think, okay PvP. This doesn't have a PvP good perk. But this would make a nice... It could make a nice PvE. So really, it'll depend on your style. So, I'll take this one. Once we appoint that thing. We got a Hake Strongbow Shotgun. First one is Solar. Second... Our third one is Arc. The yeah, first two are Solar. So, let's look at this one. We have Soft Ballistics and Accurized. Final round and full auto. Very nice. Right there is a good... That's that's a nice... Well, the final round, eh, but okay, it's okay. We got Lightweight, Fitted Stock, Rifled Barrel. I might be sold on this one, guys. But we're going to look at the other two. Close and personal. Or and or personal. And spray and play. We have smart drift. Linear compensator. Lightweight. Perfect balance. Oiled frame. Doesn't look that great to me. Next we got our arc shotgun. With soft ballistics. Field Choke. Last Resort, Spray and Play, Lightweight, Hand Loaded, Oiled Frame. So if you guys want my opinion of which one's the best out of these three, out, out of this, the Rank 1 Full Auto. If you already got a Full Auto shotgun, you know, more power to you. I think this one's very useful. Got to keep this one clean or it jams. Now, this I had held on to from last week. Now the question is... Yes, it ha they have changed. It has changed. So let's look at this one, shall we? We have weapon handling, target acquisition, combat range, fitted stock, appended mag, rodeo, lightweight, injection mold. Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting build. Makes an interesting case. Next one is bonus accuracy while crouched. So this will have the same scopes as the first one. Fitted stock. Appended. Lightweight. Rifled. And then we have our rank 3 that has counterbalance. So this changes to handling. So this could be a PvE weapon. We got Hammer Forged with Feather, Counterbalance, Lightweight, Injection Mold. Well, right there, you could actually... That one actually looks good to me. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I like the full auto one that I have. But this one makes a fine case in and of itself. Just because Hammer Forged boosts the range, and you lose just a bit of that range to the... Injection mold to gain stability and better handling. So, I like it. So this DIS-43, I'll take. Yeah, that fits. Now, the field test weapons for this week, guys, are as follows. The Hake Teste Auto Rifle, use against fallen targets. The Hake Pulse Rifle, use in the Crucible. Hake test A precision kills or precision shots. Soros TSP pulse used against Hive. And Soros TSR used in Crucible. So we have another uh, two Crucible weapons the pulse rifle and the rocket launcher. Then a precision shot, Hive, and fallen weapons. For the three PvE weapons, I just say take them to Earth or take them to the moon to take on the Fallen and Hive. Your foundry orders are Syros ARI-41 Auto Rifle, Hake Herjet D Pulse Rifle, 
I've been waiting for this one to come around again. The Liudmila Pulse Rifle. The Soros JLB Rocket Launcher. And an Omalon Irene Sniper Rifle. So, Thanks, I'm going to order these three. I don't think I'm going to order one of those because I still have one, I think, sitting around one of my other characters. So, if I, that wraps up this video, guys, feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Feel free to subscribe for more. I would greatly appreciate your support. And I will catch you in my next Destiny video. Catch you in orbit. Peace out.